Lika Martins is one of the most recognizable and talented female footballers around. She always seems to enjoy what she's doing. And in light of that fact, here are 10 things you probably didn't know about the very likable Lika Martins. The Euros, the Olympics, the World Cup, European qualifiers. Long ago, the Dutch women's team decided they would throw their hats in the ring for these titles. Then, everything fell apart because the competition was too strong. Eventually, the best women were chosen to don the orange jersey, but when their country needed them most, they couldn't deliver. A few years into the future, and a new generation was called up. Lika Martins was one of them. Although with less experience than the opponents they faced, they tackled the best teams and in 2017 came out victorious with one of them, the Women's Euros title. Lika was the best of that generation. She may just be the Dutch avatar because no other Dutch woman from the country has achieved that feat. Her super achievement in 2017 earned her a place on the 2018 Forbes list of the 100 most influential sports women. She ranked 22nd on Forbes 2018 list, but her impact is still being felt all across the globe because she's a role model for many young female footballers. Lika's talents allow her to be able to spot teams with potential and position herself to be a part of them. Her comments before the 2021 UEFA Women's Champions League final, which Barcelona won, are proof of her precognitive skills. In her own words, I signed for Barcelona because I wanted to win the Champions League. I knew we wouldn't win in the first two years, but after two years already, we're in the final and now again. I like to play big games. It's why I make all the efforts. Why I'm abroad for my family, my boyfriend, my friends. Because I'm ambitious and I want to be the best of Europe. Barcelona became the first women's team to win a treble in 2021, and Lika was a key part of the side. The fans were surely sad to see her move on after such an amazing season, her fourth at the club. For those who don't know, the Netherlands are still under a monarchy. It is common to see them confer special titles on special people. Lika Martins is an officially recognized member of the Order of Orange Nassau after being conferred with the honor by the royal family. This came after her impressive feat in the 2017 Women's Euros. She goes by the official title Lika Martins RON to reflect her status in the Netherlands. Next time, maybe put some respect on her name. The Netherlands women's team have only ever qualified for two World Cups in the past, 2015 and 2019. The women's version of the global showpiece is not as old as the men's, but being present in only two out of the seven tournaments so far is a poor record for any women's team, especially one as famous as the Dutch women's team. Young and inexperienced, Lika and the rest of her teammates were able to make it to the second round of the 2015 tournament, and it all started with her goal against New Zealand. That lone goal was enough to secure their only win in their group and help them qualify for the second round before they were eliminated by Japan. Four years later, they were finalists. This is why Lika's generation is revered in her country and why she may just be the avatar. Lika just can't stay away from football, so much that she found love with a footballer, Benjamin Van Leer. He was a goalkeeper for Sparta Rotterdam, a club in the Eredivisie back in her home country. They've been together since 2018 and they got engaged in 2021. It must be hard being away from each other for long stretches because they play in different countries. And unlike her footballer boyfriend, who has played his whole career in the Netherlands, she has played in Belgium, Sweden, Spain and now France. The Johan Cruyff Institute in the Netherlands is one of the most famous sports management institutions in the world. It was founded by the legend himself with the aim of educating athletes, sports and business professionals in the field of sport management. Lika's love for football pushed her to grab herself a piece of the pie of knowledge being dished out at the school. Today, she has a master's degree in football business. Don't be surprised to see her on the board of a club someday after she hangs up her boots. Not many players can say they represented their country at all levels of football, and even fewer players can say they played in an age-grade tournament twice. Lika can, because she played in two under-19 Euro tournaments for the Netherlands. The first was in 2010 as a 17-year-old, 
and she finished that tournament as the joint top scorer with four goals. It's been quite the ride since then. Johan Cruyff is one of the most legendary names in Dutch football. As a player and as a manager, he revolutionised the game. His total football style, which he developed as a manager, is still one of the hardest to beat to date. No wonder Lika found a home in Barcelona. She was also a childhood Ajax fan, so it makes sense that she tries to copy the style of one of her country's heroes. But copying is one thing, and being compared to your hero is another. She's quite the phenomenon, that woman. It is the Barcelona connection after all. Lika Martins grew up a Barcelona fan, but she loved Ronaldinho more than any other player. In her own words, He had long hair like me, and great dribbles. I loved him, he was technical and made a lot of goals. She followed his career even after he left her favourite club and tried to emulate him. Safe to say, she did a good job of it, because not only does she have silky feet, she's won two jerseys that the legendary Brazilian did in his day, the Barcelona jersey and the Paris Saint-Germain jersey. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications icon so you don't miss out on more interesting content in our feed. If you like this video, then you might like our video on when Lucy Bronze got kicked out of the local boys team when she was 11 and promised the world she'd never be bad at football again. This is the Halftime Club. We'll see you in the next one.